This episode brought to you by Orion Metal Exchange. More about that in a minute. Happening in Wisconsin, it's a Rorschach test for where this country is, and I think it probably represents the biggest threat to the Democratic cause. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's Except because that we're was... reading from the same teleprompter, no, and I took I'm your not. line. No, you didn't. That's not. That's all you. That all says Chris. This is where I come in. We're, we'll get to that. <laughs> this is such a hilarious topic. And I think this is a blind spot for Democrats. I think Democrats are ignoring this problem or hoping that it will go away. Unless someone comes up with a solution over the next 73 days or 70 so, however many days. 68 days. 68 days. And I think maybe Joe Biden may be afraid to do it. I'm not sure. Maybe he won't. Maybe he is. He's got to address it. Chris, as you know and I know, it's showing up in the polling. Mm -hmm. It's showing up in focus groups. It is the only thing, it is the only thing right now that is sticking that's right the network that's been inciting and promoting violent leftists for the last few years resulting in terrorist attacks death and destruction is now suddenly speaking out against the rioting not because of the death not because of the violence and destruction not because they suddenly found principles no it's because this never-ending rampage of left-wing violence is starting to hurt democrats and we'll get right into exposing this latest cnn gaslighting but first just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my subscribers how far will your US dollar go once we tally up all the debt accumulated in the fight against coronavirus? How will government mandated business shutdowns affect the economy moving forward? Did you know that it took nearly eight years for the markets to recover after the 2008 housing bubble crash? Do you really have eight years to wait for a recovery? Orion Metal Exchange is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders must be over 40 to qualify call 866-915-5053 and get your free investment guide today at orion you get more precious metals for your money every day so back to what don lemon said about this hurting the democrat party well i don't think it's just the democrat party i think it's the media as well why because they've been covering up this violence or making excuses for it for the last few years and people are starting to see all this video and reading the stories that the democrat party media buries so now of course they want to flip the script and a desperate bid to save Democrats with 68 days until the election. Happening in Wisconsin, it's a Rorschach test for where this country is, and I think it probably represents the biggest threat to the Democratic cause. You took the words right out of my mouth, and I think this is a blind spot for Democrats. I think Democrats are ignoring this problem or hoping that it will go away. Chris, as you know and I know, it's showing up in the polling. Mm -hmm. It's showing up in focus groups. It is the only thing, it is the only thing right now that is sticking. Hey everyone, Chris Cuomo and Don Lemon are against rioting. I'm sure that's always been the case and nobody will ever remember that time that Chris Cuomo defended Antifa and said that protests are supposed to be violent. Too many see the protests as the problem. No, the problem is what forced your fellow citizens to take to the streets. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Be honest, this is not a tranquil time. They're not here to make power or you or me comfortable. They're here to yell, criticize, blame, and shame. You don't have to like it. They are, in fact, trained to do exactly that. So when one kneels on someone's neck for a long time and other police don't stop obvious deadliness, that's the problem. Citizens have no duty to check their outrage. Cheapening what we're seeing now by those aberrant acts is really bad trouble at work. You are ignoring the reality and you are picking on the aberrations for bad reason. Or how about that time Don Lemon freaked the fuck out over actually peaceful anti-lockdown protests? And that's not even the worst of it. Remember when he melted down over Terry Crews calling out BLM and the media for their hypocrisy and not focusing on the vast majority of black lives that are lost at the hands of other black people and at the highest rates in this country per capita? Because remember, Black Lives Matter doesn't care about all black lives, just the ones that are politically convenient. Those people are out there complaining because they don't have haircuts? 
Who the hell do you think you are? And if you're so upset about it, you should be mad at the president. And you're protesting against, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're slapping the faces of the people who are the healthcare workers who put their lives on the line every day because you want a haircut, you want to go play golf, you're concerned about, of course you're concerned about your business. Tell the president that. And you're out there with, with, um, with guns, with, with weapons strapped to your chest? What is wrong with people? I don't understand what is wrong with people. Stay at home. The Black Lives Matter movement was started because it was talking about police brutality. If you want an all Black Lives Matter movement that talks about gun violence in communities, including you know black communities, then start that movement with that name. But that's not what Black Lives Matter is about. And we don't know what's happening in this country right now. Perhaps this is uh, some sort of mechanism for a restructure in our country or for some sort of change in our country and it is an indication indicative of the pain and the sadness in this country of people who feel that they have no other alternative but to exhibit this behavior. Our country was started because this is how the Boston Tea Party rioting. So don't do not get it twisted and think that oh this is some something that has not never happened before and then this is so terrible and where are we and these savages and all of that. This is how this country was started. Or how about the time that CNN glorified and justified Antifa violence against people they don't like? Because as the CNN host says, these are anti-fascists. Do you approve of fascism? No. Then you could consider yourself Antifa if you chose to. Just look at that face. Clearly this dopey looking human gopher hybrid is a fountain of wisdom that just needs to be taken seriously. Oh. I love that these are, uh... I know. I like that. <laughs> Can I put that time yeah. on? I, want to add a... right. I okay. usually have a couple of those on me just in case. Just, uh, just in case. Because labeling your violent far-left group anti-fascist obviously means you're the good guys. This is just brilliant, flawless logic, you stupid idiots. Because if neo-Nazis started a group called the good guys, I have no doubt that Chris Cuomo and Don Lemon would scramble to join the group to avoid being part of the bad guys. And by the way, a member of the group that CNN was promoting there went on to attack an ICE facility and was killed in the process. This is just more gaslighting to distract away from past gaslighting. It's like I've told you all for years now. The left is particularly dangerous because they seem capable of rationalizing anything. And that's what we're seeing now. Strap yourselves in because the coming election is going to be like gasoline on the fire. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of the platforms listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.